Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com. I have now been using the, the HTC Touch Pro 2 for 24 hours and uh, getting quite good with it. So sliding, tilting, big screen action seems to be a, a good way to do a device. Also the big keyboard is, is really helping me. Let's uh, go a bit closer to check check the details and go a little bit deep, deeper on, on my my likings. So the first thing on HTC Touch Pro 2 is of course the screen. It's big. But the next thing is the keyboard, which is also big and really nice to use. It's it's I, I would have to say best keyboard on, on any any uh, device uh, this size or even a bit bigger. So good screen, good keyboard and a nice action for sliding and tilting the key elements here. So what about on my use? Uh, to get into the device you have to also be able to use it and actually I think the touch flow on, on this device has been helping a lot because it's it was really easy to get get stuff done with it. I can browse all the programs if I if I want to and it looks good. It doesn't look like the old old Windows mobile and uh, I can also customize this uh, start page for that but also the touch flow flow uh, giving me nice access to different parts and uh, the the how it how you use it and uh, how it looks is is kind of nice so in 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 many ways enjoying it. I'm not really using the this uh, uh, touch flow interface that much actually I'm, I'm more or less just uh, using the, uh, the apps from the from the uh, from this window and uh, and uh, and using it a little bit less less uh, flow which way I don't know know why but I think just pointing to an, to an application is much e easier. So of course as uh, I work on the web the web browser is one really really important thing. So on my main browser has been Opera and uh, I have to show you how it works on it. So it's fast and furious. We have Engadget over here. Uh, as you can see when I really really fastly scroll it it goes dark but uh, other than that it's working very very fluid and uh, of course zooming to text is, is nice and fast you don't have to really wait and uh, looks of the text on this big sharp screen is of course really nice it's it's really something something I, I've been enjoying so easy to read easy to use I like Opera a lot of course uh, one problem with Opera is that uh, you can't click the links when you are on, on a zoom out mode you have to zoom in to click the link but when I got used to that it's it's kind of okay so I'm now showing you the page load time so this is on 3G and uh, of course Engadget is a big site so it it sometimes takes a while actually not that long typically but this time it seems to take its time. But you can immediately start uh, start scrolling so that's a, that's a good thing. The, the Internet Explorer sucks big time so I really really didn't want to use that but uh, Opera is, is cool and, and effective. Uh, I'm also using the Skyfire browser but I don't like that uh, as much because actually it doesn't look as good uh, the text and uh, pictures don't look that good but re really nice feature of, of that is uh, is that you can actually let's put the end gadget on that too so you can you can compare the load time and the, and the looks so so it gets really soft on the pictures and and text so I don't like that but it's fast like you can see it's it's really nicely nicely and fastly rendering the pages but if I zoom to the text let's zoom in again in 
uh, I don't know if you can see the difference on the, on the video, but the text is not as, as sharp as on the, on the uh, Opera. Let me give you the full page. No, no full page. Come on, give me full page now. So everything is kind of soft. Hopefully you can see the difference. But a good thing about it is uh, that actually it can play YouTube videos. So let's go to my site and uh, enter and again enter. So let's let's play one of my videos. Oh. Again, loading time is, is pretty nice on 3G. Sometimes not, sometimes better. Come on, load now. Okay, we're here. We can immediately again start scrolling. Let's open that link. So like I said, the good thing about this browser is, is that you can immediately open links. Links without zooming. So now to my side and let's play the YouTube video. And it starts fast and it plays nice. It's not playing really nicely. The voice Let's, let's mute it. So, so the audio is quite okay, but the, but the video itself is, is as soft as it is on the text. You can see, see it's pretty soft looking and, and a, a bit animated, but it works. So that's the main thing, thing I guess. And you can also zoom, zoom in, in while playing, which is, which is a nice feature. Okay. So Skyfire. For fast browsing, uh, especially for videos and uh, and Opera for others, I I tried to use Fennec, but that's way too alpha for me. It, it crashes uh, crashed many times and so on. So I didn't like that. And of course, as I'm doing videos for YouTube, YouTube is is important for me. So let's again search myself and. Uh, play some video for you because actually the YouTube playback on the player itself is really nice. Nice. It's, it's, it's enjoyable. I, I, I really like it. The, the loading time is a bit too much. I think it should be better. Hello and welcome to jkkmobile.com. I've been now using the Asus EPC T91. So the play, playback is, is nice. I like it. Good looking. Even if I'm on it, and uh, and uh, it's 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 cool. Uh, of course, as I do internet work, social media is important for me. So I've been using Twikini and uh, Pocket uh, uh, Tweet, but I'm right now liking more of the Twikini. Uh, ba basically, because of the interface, it just looks better. Again, I I like like good good looking stuff. I'm running low on bat. I've been actually using this from eight o'clock in the morning quite heavily and it's four o'clock now. So, so eight hours on full throttle, not, not really full throttle, but really keeping, keeping stuff on. Like Skype has been on all the time. The Gmail has been all on all the time. Uh, Twitter application also doing some Wi-Fi surfing, uh, also, uh, using GPS on Google Maps, so the battery life seems okay for hard use. I, I don't know if I would typically push it so much, but uh, this is a good test. So eight hours uh, while 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 uh, using these apps. Uh, one problem for me was that uh, I couldn't actually set stuff to update faster, but uh, it was like RSS feed was like like. Uh, like uh, one hour tops and stuff like that. So I have to start installing other softwares for that. Also, I think the e email application needs to be, be updated as I, I didn't really like that. The RSS uh, reader works, but it's, uh, it's quite crappy looking. I, I don't know if I like it that much, but it works, works and, uh, and you can do nice swipe gestures too to read stuff. So 
it's it's useful uh, really on the first day I would have to say or first 24 hours I I've been I've been quite happy happy with it it, it was easier to start using uh, than I thought especially like the connectivity here you can see the com communications window so you can you can enable disable Bluetooth or, or phone or Wi-Fi and, and other stuff so that's really easy to use on a Nokia N987 it was not that nice so so I, I like this this uh, communications window on, on here getting Wi-Fi on and off easy and fast especially as I have have uh, have the link to it straight on the on the main main page or start page whatever that is called i'm i'm actually liking this device a lot so of course now next next days will tell how how much i like it and so on because this is just the first day and uh, and there uh, the the use of new device is always always so cool so especially because I, I didn't have any major problems with it so so in that sense since the feeling is really good now again keyboard really really good I really like it uh, Dell and enter a bit low for my liking but I'm getting used to that the F FM sticky function it's it's cool it's nice to nice to use and typing on this is, is a breeze I've been using it both like this especially when walking and so on and of course tilted on a table and I really like the angles I can I can make it go so the 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 way HTC did did this device I think it's it's perfect for mobility of course the big screen might get scratched easily so having the having the uh, uh, Having some other stuff on a pocket with that might not be a, a good idea, but right now I'm I'm using it on a pocket and not not having the keys on on on, a, on the same pocket, so have to be careful with that. So first 24 hours were quite nice, easy easy to get get stuff done, easy to use, quite powerful device. Uh, and uh, and so on uh, the cam is is pretty nice to use of course uh, i used an, a really nice cam on the nokia but i think it's uh, it's some way a bit easier uh, to use on this one even it doesn't have the dedicated key key for the for the cam itself but uh, but i will be also uploading the the uh, pictures some pictures and uh, video I, I took with it so you can you can then compare them them and see them at my site jkkmobile.com so this was all for now I think one of the next videos will be comparing this to this so Nokia Nokia N, N97 compared to the STC that's Pro 2 and also the full review of the, of the N97 and then full review of this one and then a talk about these devices comparing them to the small UMPCs and mids on the internet use so let's see how that that goes so see you next time this was all for now thank you bye